A Saudi atheist blogger by the name of Raif Badawi is currently serving a prison sentence of 10 years and 1,000 lashes in Saudi Arabia over the fact that he had a blog that criticized Islam and talked about him being an atheist in a country that is a, is, that is a theocracy. Now, this is the year 2015, not 950 AD, not 680 AD, not 1078 AD, but 2015. We live in an age where we have the internet, we have all the all these innovations and advances in, in human technology, but we still have these, you know, barbaric practices in, in some countries where speaking out against nonsense like Islam can lead you to being sent to prison. And, and actually, the, the, the maximum sentence in this country for apostasy and, and uh, criticizing Islam is death, execution. You can be killed in this country for, for, for criticizing Muhammad. <laughs> and what's even more disgusting and hypocritical about this story is that the Saudi government sends over people to march in solidarity in Paris after Charlie Hebdo attacks. And these marches were over the right of freedom of speech. That level of irony and, and hypocrisy, I mean, that, 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 that would be like Kim Jong-un going to a Human Rights Watch conference and giving a speech about the importance of uh, human, human rights. Or Kevin Durant, or not Kevin Durant, Kevin Garnett, going to a youth sports camp and giving a speech on uh, giving a speech on why good sports sportsmanship is important it, it the, the hypocrisy is so disgusting that it it, it really makes me like it, it it blows my mind away for for the, for Raif Badawi he the, the the lashes were so severe in the first the first round the first round of 50 lashes that a medical doctor says that he is unable to, to face the next round of uh, lashes, and he has to do this for 20 weeks if this if 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 all this goes through, which I'm assuming he would probably be dead by week four or five because the human body can only take so much physical abuse until you know you you, you die of infection or or trauma. That 1,000 lashes is insane. It's severe, and I think that. People that live in, in you know gov you know countries that we do have freedom of speech and uh, you know human rights uh, codes and stuff that we should we should write to our rep our state representatives our our senators uh, you know our, our political leaders and, and have them you know to tell the Saudi king to say oh you know give him political asylum in the United States or pa or you know France or the U K. But but don't have him serve ten years in prison and, and and torture him over the fact that he spoke out against something that you believe in. And I, this is the reason why I fight. Why I think uh, you know the freedom of speech is important to fight for because just because you don't agree with someone and what they have to say doesn't mean that they should be penalized for it. You know, just I don't like I fucking hate David Duke and I and you know I I think you know the the Stormfront.com is one of the most idiotic websites on the on the internet but that doesn't mean i think they should be punished for it as, as long as they're not physically harming anyone then i don't think that you know they they should uh they should be sent to prison or physically uh harm like like this guy right here and, I, and i'm and i'm a black guy but the thing is though freedom of speech it goes both ways it goes for stuff that you that you agree with and it goes for stuff that you disagree with and in closing i want to be leaving some links in the description below you know of uh, news articles, petitions, stuff like that, um, to you know, for you to sign, and ho hopefully our government reacts to this and you know grants this man uh, asylum here because I don't think any human being should have to go through something like this at all. And that's all I gotta say. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, and have a nice day.